Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, it's gonna be pink on pink on pink. So first I'm gonna set my eyes, basically put a primer. I'm just using concealer. For this week, I used my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Golden Honey. So I'm just gonna tap tap it all over my lid. I have to say I prefer the Born This Way one, the one I usually use. I find the shade, the shadows were a bit less vibrant with this one, but it's pretty pretty close honestly. Next, I'm gonna set my eyelids because my eyelids do crease and I get oily. So just a little bit of translucent powder and it should work. So next, I'm going to use some tape, just regular tape. I just have to say that if you guys use regular tape and not tape for makeup, just do your eyes first. Otherwise, the tape will take off the makeup, like the base that you have. So yeah, I'm just gonna make both eyes equal because I think this is the hardest part, honestly. Anyways, I'm using my ColourPop Fit Into You palette again. And the first shade I'm going to use is Paradise. And I'm just going to cut my crease with an angled brush. Basically, I'm just going to map out my crease with that brush and make it as sharp as possible. Uh, my steps are really weird in this makeup tutorial, but I just want it to be like more precise. That's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, just saying. Anyways, um... Yeah, I'm just mopping up my crease and after I use like a blending brush and I'm just taking, tapping again to the shade Paradise and just blending it up. Um, I did it that way just so it's like more precise and I can control where the shade goes because I didn't want it to go all the way up to my brows but I still want it to be like really diffused. That's why I did the steps that way. So I'll just go back and forth, back and forth and make it blend. And here I'm just going back with my angle brush just to make sure that it's a sharp edge. So yeah, after this, I'm just going back with my the brush that I had before. And see, I'm switching brushes because I want it to be more pigmented. So you see me going from a blending brush to a bold brush to a smudger brush, and the smudger brush is the winner. Um, yeah, I just want it to be like as pigmented as possible. So I'm just gonna pack it on my outer corner basically and do about like just tap it on and just as like just until it's like really pigmented and uh, the pigment that you like and here i'm just going back with my blending brush to make sure everything is well blended together here i'm just gonna use my burn this way concealer and i'm using a pencil brush no a lip brush sorry a lip brush and i'm just mapping out a um a cat eye like a wing liner with the concealer um the, it turns a bit pink because I didn't clean it up before so mix it in with the concealer like it turned a little bit pink um, just so you guys know I didn't use anything else it's really just a concealer mixed with the eyeshadow that's why it's making that color and then after I'm using the shade Atelier from the same palette and I'm just gonna pack it on my lids with the same kind of brush that I use in my outer corner so a smudge brush so you just want to pack it on this shade took a little bit more time to pack on i don't know why um it's a beautiful shade it just i don't know i guess maybe it's my concealer that i put before it just wasn't clinging well so i had to like really tap 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 a lot and i'm using this also for my winged um eyeliner i'm using the same eyeshadow and just tap 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 the eyeshadow name atelier all over the wing part and the lid part and just make sure it's as vibrant as you want it to be i do suggest a smudger brush i find they bring out the pigment the most anyways here i'm going back in between the two shades and making sure it's blended you can always tap back into the shade paradise and tap back into the shade atelier just to make sure that it's all blended next shade i used was fantasyland uh, this shade is so beautiful i just have to say that like it took me a while to like get the true shade of it i just need some warm up i'm using the same kind of brush a smudger brush and i'm just putting it in the inner corner to brighten up the eye and i'm putting it also a little bit in the crease just so it looks like all blended together from like light to dark and here is the finished look i did the other eye off camera and this is it without uh, with lashes sorry and here i'm just gonna do my base you know how it goes just enjoy this part
so my base is done for now i'm going back into the shade paradise and i'm using the same angle brush that i used before i'm just gonna smoke out the lower lash line <laughs> lower lash line sorry and i'm just gonna put this one in the first third of my eye um to connect the upper lashes and my lower lash line sorry and then after i'm going back into the shade atelier and i'm gonna use it in the middle of my lower lashes um yeah so just smoke it as much as you'd like and then um tap 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 on it so to make sure it's really really vibrant and then the next shade i'm going to use is the shade fantasy land of course because we want to brighten that inner corner and uh yeah so just put it a little bit on the on the lower lashes lower lash line and then connect the two part like the upper part and the lower part and this is my eyes basically done all i have to do now is add some mascara i'm using my sky high mascara by maybelline and yeah i'm being dramatic i know but it really stopped my eye i don't know and yeah i'm just putting on a bit of mascara to make it more all doll like uh, i'm gonna finish my face um first i'm using my sephora micro smooth powder everything is like um it's mentioned down below whatever i used and i'm just gonna take off my big and for my under eyes i'm just wiping off the excess powder next i'm using this blush palette it's called the master blush palette by maybelline i have no idea if it still exists anyways i'm using the baby pink um blush to put on my face i just thought it would tie in more with like the makeup look and um yeah i'm just putting on my cheeks and a bit on my forehead you guys know i just put blush everywhere on my face just to put back some warmth to my face for my lip combo this time i use my colourpop lip pencil in the shade control to line my lips first and i do blend it in a little bit inside and then after for my lipstick i'm using the maybelline slim super stay lipstick in the shade more above and i'm just blending the two together just to put all put all of it together and make it like all pink and basically after that you're done your makeup is done and i was just trying to do my hair and i just thought my blush wasn't showing enough so i just put some more blush i did put a little bit of my, my um morphe blush a little bit and then after i went back with my maybelline blush and basically after that you're done this is the makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye <laughs>